Hey everybody and welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. Should anyone have any questions about what they hear in this video or any questions in general about the Forex Market, feel free to email me, Kurt, at pristine.com. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Let's take a look at where things are at here this week. Starting as always in the upper left with the euro US dollar, we can see that this pair has been working its way higher as we've been talking about over the last couple weeks. And now recently it has started to experience a bit more uncertainty, but this uncertainty should come as no real surprise because if we take a look at the weekly chart, we'll notice that the uh, euro us dollar has moved up into this resistance area to the left which is always going to increase the level of uncertainty and also in this case increase the level of overhead supply and so that's not to suggest that the euro us dollar cannot get through this area but it is certainly suggesting that our expectations of continued strength like we saw in the last two weeks or so is is not likely going to continue at least for right now so we'll have to be aware of what happens in this area how much supply comes in versus the demand that is able to hold this up and then go from there but at this point in time the euro us dollar pair is going to likely be experiencing a bit more uncertainty as opposed to the trending type of action that we saw over as i said the last week and a half two weeks Moving to our right, taking a look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. Again, this pair continues to slowly try and grind its way higher. We can see that we've been making a series of higher lows uh, with the highs being relatively equal here to one another. So the volatility is contracting. We'll see if we can't get some type of break here in the coming days or weeks. But... If we take a look at the weekly chart, we see that once again here we have a downtrend in place, which is, um, as we just discussed with Euro US dollar, going to increase the level of supply. So we're really fighting against two trends here. We've got a weekly and a downtrend, whereas the daily is slowly grinding its way higher, leading to, as I said, more uncertainty. So uh, we want to sit on our hands. We want to be patient. No real trending type of action to be expected unless we can really start to break over this prior pivot high here then maybe we'll start to see some better follow through but until then really just looking to play between support and resistance levels here on this daily time frame moving over to the right new zealand dollar u.s dollar and uh you know it was showing strength Last week, uh, week and a half, we were seeing prices able to sit up at the top of this range, which did indicate the potential for prices to make a move higher. However, as we can see, we, uh, we had a sharp reversal back down here late part of April, and now we've been slowly bleeding lower, now breaking or just poking below this prior support area. So uh, at this point, things are definitely weakening, and, and, and we have to ask the question, why? Why was this looking so good up here, but now has been unable to move higher and instead come all the way back down? And if we look at the weekly chart, once again, it tells the story move up into resistance, supply is going to increase, and the supply was just able to overwhelm the demand in other words buyers were not able to step up in a way that was able to overcome any resistance and so now we're moving back down towards the bottom of this weekly range so uh, like these other pairs that we've looked at the uh, continued storyline here is overall uncertainty in so much as the trend 
and we want to be playing between support and resistance levels. In other words, not really looking for any clear trending type of movement here in any of these three pairs we've looked at so far. Shifting gears to the bottom right, we have the U.S. dollar yen, and uh, this once again continues to just chop around in a sideways range, no real clear direction at this point in time. So uh, sitting on hands at, at this at this moment, at this juncture, because even though you've got a clearly defined uh, top of the range and bottom of the range, there's no real clear room to play in, at least not from this daily time frame. So I would be more inclined to sitting on hands um, based on that information. Looking at the weekly, though, we see that this, this dollar-yen pair is basing within an uptrend here. So it, it would suggest that price can move higher if we can clear the top of this weekly range. And, and that's kind of what we're sitting on our hands waiting for, is to see whether or not that can happen. If not, and instead we break under the bottom of this range, well, then there is the potential to start moving lower quite nicely uh, if if we do break under this support level and not just break under it but close below it I would not be expecting too much demand in this area yeah we'll probably get a bounce but I wouldn't be expecting too much in the way of, of real strong stabilization here because this is what traders are focused on right now right this this is the new range that has the attention of trader so uh, once again going to the daily chart we uh, we just want to be waiting for a break one way or the other and until that happens it's going to be a lot of sitting on hands in regards to this particular pair at least from the daily and weekly time frame you know you drill down to some smaller time frame sure maybe you can grab some scalp longs and shorts playing off of the top and bottom of the range shifting over to US dollar Canadian dollar in the uh, bottom middle chart, we can see that this daily time frame has experienced some nice movement to the downside, but has recently been undergoing some stabilization. We had this retest of the prior low, which resulted in a bottoming tail, indicating demand is increasing. However, we have not yet seen any follow through above this resistance level, above this neckline. So that's really what we want to see to confirm this double bottom if that does not happen this is nothing more than just a uh, you know a bottoming tail a stabilization signal at this prior low but all within the context of a downtrend and this having no follow through this double bottom having no follow through is a strong indication of increasing supply if we take a look at the weekly we'll see that the weekly did break under this support area with a very compelling bearish candle to the downside and recently you know we've seen that as I said that stabilization but if it has no follow-through well then we could be well on our way back down to some lower levels eventually possibly even working down towards the uh, the 1.1547 area and so we'll see uh, we'll see how it all plays out. We'll see what happens. But this is definitely a compelling, a significant low area, which, if broken, will really start to open the floodgates to the downside. At least that's what's being suggested right now. Because again, switching back to the daily, you'll see that this low, this double bottom tells us that buyers are stepping up if it fails that message is being negated and being within the context of a downtrend only reconfirms the position of the bears and then finally uh, bottom left pound US dollar as a we see we've had a nice move higher, nice little trend to the upside, couple higher highs and higher lows, leading to some pretty nice follow through overall. And even after this relatively sharp retracement, we've had a very nice rally all the way back up towards this prior high and so far holding up here very well. So we'll see what happens here as we are testing this prior high, but to gain a little more insight, 
we look to the weekly chart and the weekly chart nice reversal last week negating that topping tail which did form at resistance so the pound US dollar is showing some great strength here um, on on this weekly time frame negating that prior um, topping tail as I said which formed that resistance and behaving as if it wants to continue moving higher so pound US dollar is showing relative strength to euro US dollar which we looked at at the beginning of this video and uh, so we'll see what happens but again we still want to see the pound US dollar breaking above this prior high if it can do that well then not only do we begin to see the potential for even further upside but we also begin to change the weekly trend right now technically speaking the downtrend on the weekly time frame is still in place however a move above this resistance begins to change that and uh, and as I said, we start to see the potential for a much stronger move to the upside. So key level here, definitely want to be watching this over the course of this week, seeing what happens. But uh, we can already see the daily has shifted gears and has been trending higher. The question is, is it going to have enough strength? to propel the weekly time frame through the resistance that it is now testing and ultimately begin to change the weekly trend as well so stay tuned we'll see what happens i'll talk to you all soon in the next video until then as always be disciplined be patient and be confident we'll talk soon